now welcome back my students and kwa sasa nataka ni solve your paper ya paper 2 biology nekta 2019 ya hapa nyumbani Tanzania na sio kwamba virus unaona hapa ndio uapo kwenye paper hapana sina diagram ya ya hiyo virus ambayo alikuwa muuliza hapa anga niangalie kwanza kwenye jakati ya ya my notes the diagram of that virus Okay anyway So la kwanza alikuwa amekwambia So la kwanza amekuwa alikuwa amekwambia using examples explain five advantage and disadvantage of kingdom fudge Labda ni kwambie kwamba paper 2 ndio paper ambayo unaweza ka ukapata max nyingi uka uka ukapandisha max zako paper 2 and paper 3 But paper 1 sometime ndio hivyo kama ambavyo unaona mwaka jana walitoa section C wakatoa transport swali moja wakatoa production maswali mawili respiration ya kutoa that is kama ukusoma reproduction vizuri itakupa shida lakini paper 2 disease five advantage and disadvantage of kingdom fudge most of us tali tumeshasoma toka form 2 na hata kwa advance na wakati tumefundishwa kwa hiyo sita zimension in such lakini hapo ni kutaja tu advantage tano disadvantage tano and you are over maana hapo every point ilikuwa na max ngapi mbili advantage tano itakuwa ni max kumi disadvantage tano ni max kumi that's all you are over ushapata max zako 20 kwa it's not simple kwamba kuzikumbuka lakini kama ulizipitia na zilikuwa ni fingertips you can and then any question 2a you are asked to draw the diagram of bacteriophage and label six part so this is the diagram of bacteriophage na iko kwenye bs e iko kwenye bs huyu ni ni t2 bacteriophage lakini hiyo t2 acha nayo we angalia tu ndo bacteriophage kwa hapo kwa mfano hapa mmekuwa labeled head then we have collar we have whole spike we have tail fiber base hexagonal base plate and sheath so you are required to label six parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you can just see even label these and they can be enough then from there unaona sasa kwa mfano swali kama draw a diagram of bacteriophage and label six parts kwa maana hiyo lazima uchole vizuri uchole kwa utaalamu wote kwa utulivu from there umeambia kwamba virus possess problem in identification and they possess characteristics of both living and non living things justify this statement by stating four living and three non living characters of virus so as you can see here in my notes kwamba virus virus wanaweza kawa living organism au non living organism according to different characteristics Now as a living organism we have four character here ambao they have genetic material RNA or DNA don't say and it is all no virus contain RNA and DNA so are highly specific to their host they can enter host and replicate within they join with host DNA without causing harm but virus is non living they lack protein synthesis machinery they lack cell structure then they cannot replicate themselves outside the cell so in that question unakuwa mmaliza na unakuwa unabeba max zako 20 that is part 1 comparative study of natural groups of organisms and then part b regulation and regulation and growth and development so with the help of diagram describe the formation and removal of your layer in mammalian liver kwa hiyo 
Hilo swali liko na kutaka ueleze Olinthian cycle. And for the sake of Olinthian cycle labda ni ni watafutie tu hapa kwa wale ambao hamjawahi hamjawahi fundishwa. Watafutie hapa Olinthian cycle. Tafutie Olinthian cycle hapa haraka haraka. Tu ipitie labda logo tuweze kuona nini ambacho kinatokea now with the help of diagram describe the formation and removal of urea in mammalian liver now sometimes this question is requires you to explain not only all in the cycle because the formation and removal of urea formation of urea does not start just on the own sign cycle formation of urea starts from the point where the excess start to be dominated so what i can say that you may use these you may use these answers uh, for this question and starting with this point that the mammalian liver is considered as the largest glandular tissue in the body it has over membrane functions lakini if we let's just deal with demination then after demination we deal with own sign cycle kwa hiyo demination is just the process whereby the excess amino acid uh, the body is unable to store excess amino acid taken up in diet those not required immediately for protein synthesis or gluconeogenesis are deaminated. So demination is the process of removing amino acid, amino group from amino acid to form ammonia. That is deamination. D means remove, like deleting. Then amination is ammonia. You are deleting ammonia or you are removing ammonia. This process involves the number of amino acids, hence protein in the body is regulated. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingi lakini in short tu ni kwamba the reaction summarizing the amination can be written like this this is the reaction that is ammonia and here we have carboxylic group if we are deaminating it by reacting it with oxygen we get this keto group and amino group the keto group goes to the respiration and then amino group it is one which is entering the all in cycle within the liver so now all in the cycle starts from ammonia and carbon dioxide. Now at the beginning of the cycle, ammonia from diminution and carbon dioxide from respiration combine with all in to form citrulline in the presence of enzyme all in thine carbon transferase. Sometimes if you don't remember this all in thine carbon transferase, it's better if you don't write it at all rather than writing it wrongly. Kama kitu kijui ni heli usikiandike tu usikiandike enzyme kandika tu ammonia combined with carbon dioxide kutengeneza citrulline plus involve condensation or molecule of water is removed then second stage citrulline combined with another ammonia form from deamination to form arginine in the presence of enzyme arginase this reaction also involve condensation reaction but here sometimes it's not necessary to write them in stages you may just let them in explanation. Then in the presence of enzyme, arginase, succinatylase, arginine is hydrolyzed into urea and onthine. The product urea is taken from the liver by the blood. And this is our diagram of onthine cycle. It is present in BSC in understanding. This is a universal diagram. If you, this is from BS, then if you use it from understanding, Anyway, they are just similar. However, there is some kind of different in morphology, but they are explaining the same thing. So that is all about question A. And then question B identify major excretory product in your tablets. Major excretory products. For each excretory body, identify three. Identified in three B1, state they are natured and give one example of organism which excreted. So let me send you back in my my notes on the major excretory products.
and then you can see how how they are now on the major scattered products it is different from the nitrogenous products so major scattered products in animals and plants and for here they asked you any very tablets the tablet C excatural products in a form of in form of nitrogenous most of the tablet they they excrete nitrogenous waste product as you layer some of them was uric acid and some of them is ammonia but for this question it didn't ask about the nitrogenous however also most of the time when this question is asked they don't they don't mean these nitrogen oxygen they always mean about the nitrogenous waste product so i could suggest you to answer in basis of the nitrogenous waste product now we have three major nitrogenous waste product which are uric acid, urea and ammonia. Uh, identifying their nature, ammonia is very toxic, then urea is less toxic, and then uric acid is non-toxic. Then ammonia is, ammonia is very soluble in water, urea is soluble, and uric acid is insoluble. And then about the organisms which excrete them, ammonia is always excreted by the organism which are, are living in the environment with the plenty of water. And then from there, urea or ammonia is excreted by normally aquatic organism. Urea, some of the aquatic, some of them they are terrestrial. But in case of uric acid, it is excreted by the organisms which are living in the fissions of water, which are terrestrial. In question 4a, with the aid of the diagram, describe the ghost curve of a pea plant. Now here, as you know about pea plant, pea plant is the annual, is the annual plant. So it is just the growth pattern is that of other plants. But here they have just confused you to tell you pea plant. And I hope that it is where they have confused you but the growth pattern of of plants is just the, the same is just the same and for plants which are annual they fall in this group in the limited growth or determined growth so here is where you plant a pea plant, then its mass decreases. When a seed store it is used in respiration, then it starts photosynthesis. After starting photosynthesis there, so with the aid of diagram described, now you should explain that a pea plant they undergo limited growth, also known as definite or determined growth. It is the kind of growth which stop when an organism attains certain size at certain age. Here, an organism grows, but finally, a period of maximum growth and a certain predetermined size are reached. So, rather than this explanation, you should add your own explanations, because if you are drawing this graph, you should explain why did this initial loss of dry mass, dry mass against the time. Why did this initial loss of dry mass happen? You should explain it. That it is because of the use of the food stored in the cotyledons being used by the seeds in respiration. And that is what causes the, the dry mass to decrease. And then when the plant starts to photosynthesize again, the dry mass of the plant start to, to increase again. And I don't think if these informations they are they are pleasant here, but that's 
that's the fact which is explained even in the session of the germination. So you can go yourself to lead on the part of the seed germination and can you get more and more knowledge. In question four, the idea of the diagram described uh, outline five causes of seed dominance. So there are many causes. Let me just tell you that go and lead. Question 5a explain two rules of deoxyribonucleic acid, that is DNA. So I hope you know the rules of DNA. So just telling two rules, it's very easy. Um, it, DNA carries genetic material from the parent to the offspring, but also DNA is used in protein synthesis. DNA control different activities of the cell by the production of different proteins such as enzymes and things like that. Describe chemical composition of oxygen nucleic acid. I hope everybody of you, even in my DNA, chemical composition that oxygen nucleic acid. Four properties of genetic material upon the kuna kuna mambuya mambuya linearity kuna mambuya kwamba zina uwezo wa kuwa stable and things like that so i hope everybody of you knows about the four properties of genetic material question number 6 in cut the gene controlling the coat color are carried on the x chromosome and they are dominant a black coat female mated with a jinga coat male produced the offspring consisting of black male and social female kittens what is the expected f2 phenotype ratio explain the results so hapo manake ni ni wewe tu uta utaleti na ukishaleti zeli za tutakazopata ndo zo kazi elezea hapo so let's say tuleti tuleti kwamba wamesema kwamba the gene controlling coat color zimekuwa carried in x chromosome and they are dominant so let's say b to be black ale and the jinga coat let's say g to be jinga alele so for the sake of this uh, a black coat female and that is what let's say this is then it is closed the close the um, a jinga coat male they say it is y then x producing offspring consists of black male and social female kittens so here in meios we will get then y so in closing you will get this is black male with the same as if you write then why black male then total is female this is black male this is it is female so expected f2 means kiangalia hapa huyu na huyu anafanana na huyu na huyu anafanana so it is just a matter of taking xby then xbxg so about close to pata black female 
Vieni pata pata. Uta pata. Toto is fimeri yopo. Vieni pata pata. Uta pata black mail. Apo uta pata. Toy toy is mail. X. That's not Toto's mail, that's Jinga, Jinga Kot mail. Ambe mfana na kulepali nitu kwanza. So, this is the F2 results. Black female, Toto is female, Black male, Jinga male. Explain the results. Phenotypic ratio, na kendo na kwe one, 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 one. Explain the results. Hapa manake kuna core dominance. Core dominance. Hizi zote mbili zime zime dominate kwa pamoja. So it is core dominance ime ime take place up. Then from there question number 7 kuna mobile ecology ecology evolution so for this session one ecology one topic in depth sana is compared to evolution but sometimes they ask you just only a question for ecology okay of course brief explain how each of the following human activities affect flow of energy kuna poaching yani kuwa wanyama na deforestation maana kuna vua wanyama na deforestation hiyo ni swala ambayo ishai to connect hata kwa miaka ya nyuma na ina majibu yake hata kwenye review na b scale seven biotic factor which affect population is ziko numerate six essential feature of natural selection hizo zinajulikana ziko kama bs scale how geographical reproductive and genetic solution being about speciation maana kwa kuna mambo ya mechanism of speciation lakini kifupi tu ndo ndio hivyo ndio hivyo tu na huo ndo mwisho wa paper 2 tukutane tena paper 3 however for paper 3 maana yake sitakuwa na uwezo wote wa kudemonstrate i don't have laboratory so maybe if i will only illustrate you how to answer and that is if we like if you not like if anybody will be interested for me to upload the paper three solution you can just comment or if you are in my telegram group you can tell me to and then that's all one of the students in my telegram group sent to me this paper and told me to solve for you and explain how in short you can answer the questions i heard some information that he, there is challenge in answering biology questions and no biology is tough needs more time for you to study and and for you to perform well in your exams for that reason i decided to make these videos just to help you i have a lot of things to do i have a lot of studies a lot of stuffs things are congested in the university but i am not complaining you but i want to help you passing and reaching good universities so see you at moas see you at mumbiri university of health and allied science thank you everybody